continuing coverage, something we've been covering all week since it happened. A vigil this evening for the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Family members say this video you see right now is the home of Leela and Tony Lewis. They were found dead inside of the home. We now turn to Brianna Hollis. She was at that vigil tonight and she joins us live. Bri, a lot for this family to wrap their head around after this uh, difficult, difficult tragedy. Yeah, such a tough week for them. There's still so many questions surrounding what happened, so much emotion as well. And that is certainly something that we saw out here tonight. People are still out here two hours later paying their respects. They came out to mourn and also to demand justice. There are probably about 100, 150 people out here. They came up in small groups to light candles and place them on the steps of the home that obviously is really nothing more than a charred pile of debris at this point. It's overwhelming just seeing the destruction that's over here. And of course, knowing that two people passed away as well. There were tears, there were embraces. Again, like I said, a lot of emotion out here this evening. And we did get a chance to speak with the victim's pastor shortly before he started speaking. It has been an extremely rough week from the time that I received the phone call Wednesday night until now. It has been very trying. Being their pastor, it is hard. It's hard at this moment. It's very hard at this moment. I have two irreplaceable spots that have been created in this community and in my church. Now, when it comes to how this all happened, neighbors say they heard gunshots before the house went up into flames. Rapper Honeycomb Brazy hasn't gotten back to our request for comment yet, but he has been very vocal on social media. In his latest post, he claims his grandparents both had COVID and were on oxygen, and it was their tanks that blew up when the house was shot at. Now, Mobile Police have told us they are not ruling anything out. Again, they are investigating this as a homicide, and officers this afternoon told us they should have some more information, excuse me, about this investigation on Monday. Reporting live in Happy Hills tonight, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.